actually just my uh, live lobby chat type format layout or whatever but uh, I just wanted to release a bit of news which is very quickly catching on all across of most social medias so you may have heard of it already but if you haven't it's official Texas is now the 21st constitutional carry state which is a huge victory for just about anyone actually trying to enjoy their freedoms uh, so anyway, here's the story that broke about two hours ago, and uh, this followed after Governor Abbott's signing or declaration of uh, wanting to build the border wall on a state level. And uh, if you want to see what a real leader looks like, you should watch that press conference today, because Governor Abbott has a tendency of becoming very animated and vocal when it's a slam dunk. And today was a two-folded slam dunk. He really knocked it out of the park today. So anyway, yeah, this is the story that broke. Um, it is now official. So just a couple of heads, or uh, just a heads up. This doesn't actually take effect until September 1st, as you can see right here. So that doesn't mean tomorrow you put on your shoulder rig and go running outside without a license, because... This is something that many people in the 2A community have fought for long and hard, year after year, state after state. So it is, it's cool to celebrate, and it's cool to be very excited about this, to have the freedoms bestowed upon you since 1791 returned to you. Um, but let's not screw it up. You know, I think in my last video I said, don't be an idiot. And that still stands today. Uh, getting back privileges is something like being a child who is no longer grounded. Getting back your constitutional rights that should have never been taken away from you in the first place. Carry yourself with dignity. And don't be a moron. I think, if anything, that's the message here. Is don't be an idiot. You know, use your common sense. It's the one time that a politician would say the words common sense and it would actually mean something. Use common sense. Anyway, I just wanted to add that because um, if you're unfamiliar with how all this works, um, one of the really cool things is, is Texas Law Shield has actually put together sort of a guide regarding the legalities or just the nuts and bolts of constitutional carry. So they created this handy little guide it's about, I think, 28 pages or so. Yeah, 28 pages. And you can just kind of scroll through this, you know, in your free time and get familiar with it. Because, the, you know, law enforcement or people that are against uh, your rights to carry, they're going to try to find every poor example of someone not boning up on what they should know about where they can carry and how they should carry and like the establishments that they are not allowed to carry in so you should definitely take your time and go through this page by page and just I'm not saying you have to like study it like it's a midterm exam just familiarize yourself with it you know it's like if you buy a lawnmower or like a wood chipper and you've never used one before you would go through the manual and you'd probably watch a couple of YouTube videos and whatever and you would learn how to safely operate the tool you have and a firearm is no different because you know it's the great equalizer right so you know God created man and Samuel Colt made them all equal so anyway what I'll do is I know that's a long link up there I, I created a tiny URL for it I'll put it here in the video but I'll also leave it in the description below but I just wanted to do a quick little uh, quick and dirty kind of a newsflash thing just to show you that yes if you argue your case correctly and you are persistent and eloquent and educated and formal and just whatever 
uh, good things can happen to sensible governments, so or with sensible governments, rather. So this is a victory for Texas. This is a victory for the Second Amendment. This is a victory for gun rights. Uh, and don't be surprised if you see Louisiana very quickly become the 22nd state right after us. And now the only victory left that we have to stand for is the border wall and House Bill number 587, I think it's called. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. Keep your ear to the ground. Be safe and ever vigilant. And we'll see you later.